Hey guys, welcome back to the Mindworks channel. You're with me, Arun Sharma, and uh, I hope you are, you are liking the series that we are bringing to you. Must know question and cons. Uh, through this series, we are trying to show you how to solve uh, various levels of questions and how to how to create competitive advantage in questions. Difficult questions, how do you approach them? Easy questions, how do you do it faster than the others? So today, uh, in as the flavor of the season goes, uh, which has been the flavor of the last few uh, sessions that I've taken on this. I'm continuing with something in arithmetic and this is based on percentages and profit and loss, two chapters which you should study together in a lot of ways. So this is the question that you can see here. The question says, a man sells two goats procured at the same price P to Ravi, Arun and Ravi add a profit of 20% and loss of, of 30%. So let's get hold of what this information is telling me. So there's this man who's procured two goats at the same price P. And he's selling it to Arun and Ravi at a profit of 20% and loss of 30%. So if you react to that, it means that if his price, purchase price is P, then Arun's purchase price is 1.2P and Ravi's purchase price, this man is selling to Arun at a 20% profit. That reaction is if his purchase price for the man is P, his selling price is 1.2P, which is Arun's purchase price. And Ravi's purchase price will be 0.7p because the man is selling the goat to him at a 30% loss here. So this is the reaction to the first statement. And this uh, solution that I'm showing you here is again in the same, goes in the same, uh, uh, same uh, series of uh, solutions where you are trying to solve the question during a first reading. And if you uh, look at my consistent uh, advice to you, uh, all of you preparing for competitive exams, you're trying to create competitive advantage over your, over your competitors. So my most important uh, advice to you is always this, that uh, specifically in, in language-based questions, is that your reading, your first reading should involve a lot of solving. That means whatever reactive steps you get at various points in the question, you should of course do it and, and continue doing, uh, continue reacting to that then and there rather than reading the question till the end and coming back because a second reading by default is 20 to 30 seconds slower than to solving the question in the first reading. So coming back, Arun sells his goat to Ramaya at a profit of 30%, while Ravi sells his goat to Kanhi at a loss of 20%. So we can take this information of this next statement. Please remember, I have not read the full question. Arun is selling his goat to Ramaya at a profit of 20, 30%. So if there's a 30% profit, on 1.2p, 30% of 1.2p is 0.36p. You add that to this. Ramaya's purchase price is 1.56p, which is Arun's selling price. And Ravi sells his go to Kane at a 20% loss. So 20% loss or a 20% reduction 0.7p will make it 0.56p. So that means you are you are drop this by 0.14p. So the purchase price for Kanheya is 0.56p and purchase price for Ramaya is 1.56p. So once you get this, this information, the question further says, if the amounts paid by Ram Kanheya, Ramaya and Kanheya are A and B respectively. So please see, just, just watch this. I'm not even reading, I'm not reading the question to the full, to the end. The question is now telling me Ramaya's purchase price is A and Kaneya's purchase price is B. Then the question reveals itself. What is the ratio of A is to B? What is the ratio of A is to B? Sorry, A minus B is to P. They're asking for this ratio in this question. So when they're asking for this ratio in this question, A minus B is to P, you can see clearly that A minus B in this case is 1.56p minus 0.56p. I forgot to write that p here. So the difference between a and b is basically a minus b is p itself and p is to p will give me a ratio of 1 is to 1. And that's the answer to this question. And you got this solution again without literally, I mean you can, you can actually do this whole thing in your mind. This, this whole thing is, is kind of paper pen free in a lot of ways if you can keep reacting. An even better way of solving this question could be if you, if you instead of taking your <coughs> purchase price for the man as P, if you take it as 100, then you can think about it much faster also. Arun buys at 120, 
Ravi buys at 70. Arun sells at a 30% profit to Ramaya. This is Arun. This is Ravi. Arun sells at 30% profit to Ramaya. So Ramaya buys at 156. This is A. Ravi sells at a 20% loss to Kanaya. 20% loss, that means minus 14 on 70 gives me 56. This is Kanaya's purchase price, which is B. And this question is basically independent of the value of P. And hence, you can actually take 100 to start with. If you do it this way, you'll even shave off the, the, the time that you took to write the P angle in the question. And you can do this completely mentally. A minus B is 100. So the ratio of 100 200, the original price at which the man purchased, is basically 1 is to 1. So you can actually do this mentally without writing anything. And that's what you expected to do. Because when questions become easier, a competitive advantage is created by the fact that you can solve it, your, your competitor can also solve it. But competitive advantage is created by the fact that you can solve it faster than what your competitor can do. So you need to try to build those uh, processes in, in whatever aptitude exam you're preparing for. Thank you so much. I'll be back with the next video uh, very soon in the series. Do follow the series, do like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.